No substation manager in the ESB is responsible for the collapse of the Irish economy, and the ESB isn't responsible for the collapse of Irish banking. Anglo Irish Bank was at the heart uh, of what went wrong in Irish banking and the Irish economy, and we ended up with the state having to take ownership of that bank. Now, Taoiseach, I must say I was surprised when I heard yesterday that we're told 70 staff in um, uh, Anglo-Irish Bank had got a pay increase. Can you tell the House how much of a pay increase did they get? I presume that since this became knowledge yesterday that some inquiries has been made from a bank which is owned by the state uh, as to what level of increase was granted here. Secondly, is it not the case if there, were never, if there was never a provision in the banking legislation, which there is and which allows you to take action on this, but if there never was, is there not policy, is there not government policy in relation to pay in what is called broadly the commercial state sector? And does that policy not apply now to Anglo-Irish Bank the same presumably as it does uh, to um, uh, every other state body? So what is the government position in relation to the, to the making of pay increases in uh, Anglo-Irish Bank? Thirdly, we've been told that um, the results, the financial, the, uh, financial results of Anglo-Irish Bank, their report uh, for the period ending, 15-month period ending December 2009, that was expected, that report was expected beginning of March 2010. It hasn't yet been produced. Can you tell us, first of all, when it is going to be produced? And secondly, since the state owns the bank, can you tell us, at least in ballpark figures, what is the extent of the losses incurred by that bank for that 15-month period? There have been newspaper reports that this bank has lost 14 billion euro. We're told it's going to be the highest ever reported losses by an Irish company. Can you confirm? that those are the extent of the losses. And if they are or even remotely in that territory, can you, can you try and explain how a company incurring 14,000 million of losses or thereabouts gives an increase in pay to its staff? And finally, can you give the House some indication as to how much more the Irish taxpayer is going to have to dig into its pocket or be, cut, or be asked to dig into its pocket in order to pay over to this bank that has now apparently decided to give a pay increase to its staff. I mean, that is an incredible reply, Can Corla. I mean, I asked I ask for a few simple pieces of information. How much of the pay increases? How much losses has this bank made, even in ballpark terms? And how much more are we going to be asked to put into it? And the T-shirt tells us we're going to be told this, we're going to be told this in due course. And he tells us that the matter, uh, the matter of the matter of pay, uh, and what's going on in that bank, is a matter for the management and the board, as if this was some perfectly functioning, uh, prosperous, profitable company doing its business. Tishuk, this is the zombie bank, that is the rotten apple at the heart of what happened in the Irish banking system, that has given rise to the collapse in our economy, for which people up and down this country have been paying for the last 18 months with their jobs, their pay packets, uh, their living standards, the quality of the services that are, uh, that are being produced. Sorry, Taoiseach, this is not a matter for the management and board of the, ma of the bank. This is a matter for the government, because you own it. You are the head of the government that now owns a bank that apparently made 14,000 million euro losses in the last 15 months that has just announced that it has given a pay increase uh, to, to, its, to some of its staff. You can't tell us how much the pay increase is. You won't tell us how much the, the, the losses are. And you come in here and you tell us that this is kind of, this is nothing to do, kind of, it's, it's out there, it's a bank and it's the management and it's the board of the, it's the board of the bank. This is public interest, Taoiseach. You know, I mean, I can quote you, I can quote you another uh, provision that you can do something about this. Uh, and that is the actual piece of legislation that nationalised Anglo-Irish Bank. 
the Anglo-Irish Bank Corporation Act 2009. It says the Minister may give a direction in writing to Anglo-Irish Bank requiring it to do or refrain from doing anything, the doing or refrain of doing for, of which is, in the opinion of the Minister, necessary or expedient in the public interest. So can I ask you this question, Tisha? Will you ask the Minister for Finance now today to give a direction to this bank to refrain from paying those increases until we find out officially how much this bank has lost in the last 15 months until we find out how much more of the taxpayers' hard-earned money they're going to come back looking for, and at least until the matter can be considered uh, in, the, in, the normal, uh, in the normal way. It's very easy to say that it's a matter for the management the, and the board. The management and the board are not putting up the pony here. It's the taxpayer that's putting up the money for the losses, for the extra pay that's being paid over here. And I'm saying the, the bill, the act that allowed the nationalisation of Anglo-Irish Bank gives the Minister for Finance the power to give a direction here. And I'm asking you directly now, will the Minister for Finance today give a direction to the bank to not to proceed with those pay increases until at very least we find out what's the full story about this rotten bank and the extent to which the taxpayer is going to have to pony up for it.